Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're here today, you're probably curious about the law of attraction, how it could transform your life. It's a very powerful concept that suggests that what you focus on, you attract into your life. It sounds simple, right? But how do we really harness that power? So that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. We're gonna try our best to explore the law of attraction in depth. I will share what it is, how it works, and some actionable steps you can take to start manifesting your dreams. So without further ado, let's dive into it. First things first, what exactly is the law of attraction? In the simplest form, uh, the law of attraction is the belief that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experience into your personal life. Essentially, this means that like attracts like. When you focus on positive thoughts, you attract positive outcomes. When you dwell on negativity, you pour more negativity thoughts into your life. This concept has been around for centuries now, and it could be found in various spiritual and philosophical traditions. The idea gained mainstream popularity through books like The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. But while it's a fascinating concept, many people find themselves struggling to see results. So how does the law of attraction actually work? It's all about energy and vibration. Everything in the universe, including our thoughts and feelings, you know, it vibrates a certain frequency. When you think about something, whether it's a goal, a desire, or even a fear, you're sending out vibrations that resonate with similar energies in the universe. Think of it like tuning into a radio station. If you want to hear country music, you need to tune your radio to that specific frequency. Similarly, if you want to attract abundance, abundance, love, or happiness into your life, you need to align your thoughts and feelings with those positive frequencies. But here's the catch. It's not about thinking positively. You need to you know, believe it. You need to feel it. And you need to take action towards it. The universe responds to your emotions and intentions. So if you truly want to manifest something, you have to embody the feelings of already having it. Now that we understand what the law of attraction is and how it works, let's talk about some practical steps you can take to start harnessing its power in your life. Step one, clarity of intentions. The first step is to be clear about what you want. Take some time to reflect on your goals, write them down, visualize them, and get specific about what you desire. The more detailed you are, the easier it will be for you to you know, attract those things into your life. Ask yourself, what do I truly want? or what would make me happy. Next, incorporate positive affirmations into your daily routine. Affirmations are powerful statements that can help you shift your mindset and align your energy with what you truly desire. For example, instead of saying, uh, I want to be successful, say, I am successful. You know, opportunities come to me easily. Repeat these affirmations daily, preferably in front of a mirror and feel the emotions behind those words. Step three, visualize your success. Visualization is an important tool in the law of attraction. Take a few minutes each day to close your eyes and visualize achieving you know, your goals. Picture every detail, the sights, the sounds, and the feelings. You know, Feel the joy and gratitude as it's already happening. The more real you make it in your mind, the more you attract those experiences into your life. Step four, gratitude practice. Practicing gratitude is essential when working with the law of attraction. When you focus on what you're thankful for, you shift your energy you know, to a higher vibration. Make it a habit to write three things down that you're grateful for every day. This practice will help you cultivate a positive mindset and attract even more things to be grateful for. Lastly, don't forget the importance of taking inspired action. The law of attraction isn't about you know wishing for things 
to happen. It's about, you know, taking steps towards your goals. Be open to opportunities that come your way and don't hesitate to act on them. Trust your intuition and follow the signs that the universe provides to you now before we wrap it up let's talk about a few common mistakes people often make when trying to apply the law of attraction one mistake is having the lack of belief in the process if you say affirmations but don't believe them you're sending mixed singles to the universe be patient with yourself and truly work on building that belief another mistake people often make is focusing too much on how instead on the what you don't need to know exactly how your desires will manifest just trust that they will come to you in the right time and way and finally don't fall into the trap of negative thinking it's normal to have doubts and fears but try not to dwell on them when negative thoughts arise acknowledge them uh, but then shift your focus back to what you truly want so there you have it. The law of attraction is a very powerful tool that can help you create the life you desire. Remember, you have the power to manifest your dreams. Stay focused on your intentions, you know, maintain a positive mindset and, you know, take inspired action towards your goal. Thank you so much and God bless you for taking a few minutes out of your day checking out this video. Hopefully if this video was helpful or resonates with you, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need a little bit of inspiration. I love to hear what your thoughts are on this topic. You know, what are you looking to manifest in your life? Feel free to drop that in the comment section below and maybe let's start a conversation. Also, the comments are there if you want me to tackle on any other future suggestions, topics, whatever you want. I'm more happy to read, listen, Listen and respond. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you are capable of incredible things. You just got to keep remembering to believe in yourself. I'm Adam representing Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. I'm signing off. Peace.